All right, so I've seen too many people put on a, uh, a tank grip the wrong way, so that's what we're gonna go over today. My name's Greg, and you're watching How to Play Paintball. Okay, so like I said, I've seen too many people use the, the tank grips incorrectly um, in the way that they put it on their tank. Uh, these things are made to not come off, so it's, it's, it's really difficult just to uh, get the, like the, the back of your tank and just try to pull this on. You might actually rip it, so you want to be careful with that. So I wanted to show you a trick of what you can do. It doesn't matter if it's the tank grip like this one uh, from Exalt or the tank cover. Um, either way is going to work just fine. This is actually a custom one from Mike's Paintball. They they uh, um, help us out at the channel. Um, they don't pay me to do this, but Mike's is actually where I first got started playing. So I like to be able to help them out. And uh, it's just cool to have a partnership with somebody like that that I've known for... Oof, 13 years, something like that. Um, it's where I bought my first uh, real like high-end electric gun. So i uh, got a lot of history with those guys, but uh, let me show you the tip. So you're going to need your gun for this. Uh, if you do have air in your tank, don't screw it in and uh, turn the knob to let air go through the gun. You don't want it to be gassed up. Uh, but what you're going to do is grab the tank and screw it in. And the reason why you want to screw it in is you want to find where, uh, like this is, uh, it's the Ninja Pro Reg, but it's not the one that can swivel. Um, so if you want to see where it, the, it ends up screwing up, uh, or screwing in, um, I mean, uh, where the uh, fill nipple uh, points out at, um, you're able to see that because you want the logo to, to be upright. The reason reason being is the, uh, the, the whole point of the tank cover is that it covers the bottom of the tank. So when you go to dive, you're protecting your tank. So this top part, you're going to be fine. It, it's okay. This is right next to where your hand would be. So th this is never going to get banged up unless somehow you ripped it off the gun. I mean, that's really the only way that would happen. Um, so this bottom part is here to protect the tank when you're diving. So you want this to be on the bottom. Uh, and honestly, let's face it, it looks a lot better when you have the logo upright. It looks a lot more professional. That, that's how this was designed for, is to protect your tank. So this trick will work uh, either way with um, uh, the tank cover or the tank grip. I'm just going to use the tank grip as an example. So uh, let's say that this is on the gun. We already know where it's going to be. What you're going to do is actually take the tank grip and flip it inside out and kind of put your hand in it like that. So it's going to be like that in, inside of it. You're going to take the back with your hand like this. Uh, make sure that, you know, if the logo, you, you want it lined up, put it on the back, kind of try to center it as best as you can. And what you're going to do is actually roll it onto the uh, onto your tank. Uh, the reason being is if you just try to go like this and pull it on, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can actually rip this. Uh, I mean, enough force, anything will break. And you can see the inside, it's a different type of uh, um, texture than the outside of the tank grip. So this is meant to really grip the tank and not let it move around. So again, all you're going to do is just put it on here where the, the very uh, center is. And then you're going to roll it on. You might need to put the tank like this just so you can get a, a better better traction on it. So then it might start doing this. Uh, this is the easy part. Just You just have to kind of grab it and adjust it as needed. And there you go. So it's not completely centered. Uh, I didn't do the best job on this. I was just trying to show you the, the tip. Um, so from here, you would, uh, you know, obviously I didn't center it the, the best way, but that, that rolling technique is going to be the best thing for you. It, it's, it's not going to let that, you can see here, it's not going to come off now unless I roll it off again and kind of peel it back. Now for the tank cover, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to flip it inside out. And you can see the little center here. That That's to help you with uh, where the center is on the, the back of the tank. is supposed to line up with that. So you put it on. And then same idea. And you'll roll it on like that. You're going to have to pull it at some point so it kind of evens out and it'll, it'll kind of pop into place is the best way I can describe it. You can see here it's not going to come off. Um, uh, and again, you want to make sure that you have your, your tank on your gun. So this way you know exactly where the fill nipple is. And so this is going to be protecting your tank in the way that it was designed to. Um, it's supposed to be on the bottom part here so that when you dive in anywhere, um, it's going to hit this protective side here so it doesn't damage your tank. There's no way that you're going to dive and hit this part. It's just, honestly, it's just impossible for that to be able to happen. Uh, so that's why there, there's not extra material here or anything like that. And the great thing with this is, um, I know a lot of leagues now are asking for your hydro date. So you can actually just grab it and pull it back and show them. And that's that.
Guys, I really hope that uh, the tips on how to put on a tank grip or a tank cover help you out. Um, I, I, it's just a pet peeve of mine when I see them upside down and all that stuff. But uh, uh, having it, having your gear in the way that it's, it was designed to be is going to help you out a whole bunch. So uh, make sure that you're, you're doing things the, the, the proper way. Um, so I, I do hope that that helps you out. Uh, uh, as I said before, guys, please make sure you go over to mikespaintball.com. Uh, and uh, when you get on the site, you can see all the stuff that they have there. Call them up and ask for Mike or Garrett and tell them that Greg at How to Play Paintball sent you and they'll hook you up. Uh, they, they didn't give me a percentage on how much off or how much money off or anything like that they just said hey we'll just hook your uh your subscribers up and your viewers up so guys make sure to go over there you never know what kind of deal you might get uh they do have a bunch of really cool uh, custom stuff like the custom tank grips um i know they have custom barrel covers uh, obviously shirts headbands a whole bunch of stuff um and they have great relationships with like planet eclipse mac dev um virtue all these guys, they, they have a great relationship. They've been around forever, as I've mentioned before. Uh, that's actually where I got started playing, was at Mike's Paintball when they still had a field. Uh, so they've been around for a really long time. Make sure that you're, if you can't go over, I know I've mentioned it before, but if you can't go over to Mike's Paintball and contact them, be sure you're going to your local shop. Be sure to go out, support the, the local paintball scene that you have. Because um, without them, you, you, where are you, you going to go? <laughs> um, but it's it's really important to go out and buy from those brick and mortar stores uh, and support the people that have been in the sport for a really long time and have uh, the passion and desire to really go out and uh, and open up a shop. That, that takes a lot of guts to be able to go and do that. So uh, they're usually going to be extremely knowledgeable. Uh, and they're also, honestly, it's just fun to hang out in, uh, in places like that just because uh, it's just fun hanging around people uh, that are paintball related and seeing all the equipment and, and all that. So uh, yeah, I, I hope that, uh, again, that, that it helps you out with how to properly put on a tank grip and a tank cover. And as always, remember, watch, learn, and win. Thanks.